Good morning, everyone. What if you took a trip to a far-flung, beautiful village somewhere in India? So much culture, spicy food that you like, and incredible people. But every sip of water that you drank could potentially take away your life. Would you drink this glass of water? Unfortunately, some of us don't even have a choice. In fact, 844 million people in the world do not have access to clean drinking water. And 289,000 children die each year due to waterborne diseases that are actually preventable. Diseases such as diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, and typhoid. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, there are so many water filters out there, but does that solve the problem? No, because according to research, affordability is a major, major factor in access to clean drinking water. And we, by catering to the affordability challenge, are actually solving the problem. We bring you Xylem. It's a water filter that is simple and sustainable. It does not require any high-end technology, neither any specialized chemicals. It's extremely user-friendly and as cheap as $2. The filter itself is composed of a bottle and a replaceable cartridge. The cartridge is made up of a plant tissue called xylem. This plant tissue could be acquired from almost any pine tree out there and it's as cheap as five cents. This works on a razor blade model and the inlet is supposed to allow this filter to be connected to any reservoir or container that most communities already own in our target market. We are also tested for efficiency. So our water filter can filter bacteria up to 99.9%. And in comparison to our competitors, uh, in comparison to our competitors, we're actually giving you the same quality at a much, much cheaper price. In advantage, we can also filter arsenic. So if you use our product, you can actually reach out to 10 times more people in the same price. This amplifying the impact. We are made up of an energetic team from across the globe. And our, we also have experts from business development and science and technology on board with us. Three of our team members and all of the advisors actually come from the very market we are targeting in South Asia. This giving very, very interesting insights about market dynamics. And uh, we actually have a formal collaboration uh, with MIT because we are basing our product on their extensive research which has been done since the past four years. We understand that fancy ideas such as AI and machine learning fascinate you. But we have a real solution. It's tested, it's scalable, and it's tangible. We believe in solving big problems through simple, simple solutions. And we also have a huge market. Therefore, we're offering you an opportunity to invest in and share our vision through funds of $125,000. So that the next time you go to this beautiful village in India, you, along with those who actually need it, can have a nice glass of water. Thank you. Four minutes, 30 seconds. That was awesome, because I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> any questions? So this is uh, definitely a problem I was initially that I saw when I was working in the field and, and uh, a lot of different solutions to it. Um, did you, in your competitor analysis, did you analyze any of the tablets that also been used? Uh, I think you saw, I think I primarily saw the filters, but you also have a different kind of competitor, which is the tab tablets that you were put into, and which has come, have come down to kind of really, really, really low cost now. 
Any, uh, any reflections around that? We're talking low cost. They can be as cheap as two dollars, and we have a biodegradable solution. We have a solution that comes from nature. Um, so, um, so we believe that that's more sustainable. Yeah, um, I think I'll, I'm also just going to continue because I, I think the main question uh, also for me is how this compares to to um, different competing products in a way, because uh, I mean certainly this is, uh, there is no question here about the market, um, uh, it's, um, it's, it's also lots of uh, people and companies and um, research institutions working on this, so, so basically just understanding a bit more how much you've been digging into what exists out there and also what the different products can do, because I mean they also have different facets as to what they can do. Uh, okay, um, so we've been going through the market, um, and actually our product for the first year will be under $10 for 4,000 liters, and that's for the first year when you buy the actual uh, filter, and then when you only repri replace the cartridge, it's, um, it's around $5.00. Uh, no, six dollars for a family of six person for one year. So it's actually really, really comp competitive. Um, and we compare in price, um, it, it's actually lower than any solution uh, that they have. Um, and uh, for example, we looked at NGOs and filters that they uh, provide um, to the families, and we're actually 50% uh, cheaper than those as well. Um, so I think our product was also, will also reduce its cost through mass production um, and as the target market is uh, huge, uh, we believe that we can actually achieve even lower than uh, $10 a year for the first year. Um, I'd just like to add uh, that Life Straw is the most popular water filter out there. It's a straw that you use in, uh, for camping or whenever you're traveling. Live straw can filter something as large as 200 nanometers. We can filter up to 70 nanometers. So a bacteria that is as small as 70 nanometers, we can filter out live straw. And definitely, I don't understand how a tablet that you add in the water is going to kill the bacteria, not harming you. It doesn't make sense to me. This is a solution that's natural. These xylem tissues are porous. They have tiny, tiny pores that can filter out bacteria and protozoa for you, thus cleansing the water. This is so important that uh, you just have to do it. So please don't stop. Um, I think uh, one, one question uh, which comes to mind is uh, what is the sales and distribution model? So uh, very often uh, a very important uh, topic, particularly emerging markets. So can you talk a bit about that, the typical market structure, and how you bring this to, to families? Thank you. Uh, target markets are low-income economies uh, in the developing countries like India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. And what's one important thing we need to keep in mind is to understand the psychology of the users. The users that we are targeting are the ones at the bottom of the pyramid. They do not have access to news, internet, or technology. The only good way to reach them is physically meeting them and talking to them. We'll be relying on a channel of non-profits, uh, NGOs, whose main KPIs are to ensure that these people have clean water and sanitation access. That is their KPI. So we are looking forward to partner with NGOs and talk to them about it, so that when they go and raise awareness about clean water, this is one good product that they can offer to the uh, people down there. And yeah, basically we'll be relying on the networks these NGOs have uh, to first penetrate into the market. Uh, the future relies more on talking to see how corporates can be part of it, how some CSR activities or how even government can be part of this whole initiative. Uh, 